up back from Sam's and Walmart. We're gonna do the Sam's haul first. We've got plenty of fruit. We've got the bananas, of course. This time I got raspberries instead of strawberries. They just looked really good. Last time I got their blackberries and they were on point, nice and sweet. And they always have great blueberries. So those are the three berries we got this time. I needed uh, some cherry tomatoes for recipes this week and these looked really good on the vine. Got some English cucumbers. I get these every week. They're always good in salads or just sliced up with a little tahini or just salt and pepper. They're always a good buy. And I was out of my guacamole. I love these guacamole minis. This uh, one cup is a half of an avocado. And I didn't realize this, but you can freeze them. So if this is too many, 14 cups, and you don't think you'll eat them before the date, you know, freeze some. I'll have to try that. But you can use them for vegetables, um, you know, dip carrots in there, or even those cucumbers. Put them on nachos, tacos. Use them as a spread. I like spreading it on... Um, rice cakes. So these are always a good buy. Then we've got Lunchables. We've got, I always love their lunch meat. Members Mark Rotisserie Seasoned Chicken Breast. It's only 60 calories for three slices. So that's always something uh, easy to grab to just, you know, you don't even have to make a sandwich. You can just have some protein after a workout or something. Uh, this is something that I haven't tried, the mozzarella chicken meatballs. So it's gluten-free, and I'm hoping that they'll be good. I haven't tried them. It's 180 calories for three meatballs. So we'll put that in a recipe. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it yet. I, I mean, we could just serve them up with a side with a vegetable, like green beans or something. But we'll see. And then they had a sale on their ribeyes, three ribeyes for $26.35. So that's a good buy. And these are the thick ribeyes. Then I got my husband, the Atkins. He loves the cookies, the three net carb chocolate chip. He loves the Robert Irvine. These are the 16 grams of protein. And he likes both of these flavors. Then his favorite is the macadamia nuts, dry roasted with sea salt. Remember, Smart had this big container, so that's nice. And then um, for Toby, we've got his chicken, chicken jerky tenders, only two ingredients. It's 36 ounce. So that's our Sam's haul. And then we didn't get very much at Walmart. Um, I just got some of these Angus beef steak burgers. Got some fat-free feta, got some sugar-free chocolate uh, pudding for Toby again, the milk bone brushing chews, he likes those. Then we got the omeprazole, got some green leaf lettuce, got some baby spinach and baby kale for some salads, got some shallots for a recipe I'll need this week, and a red onion. And then I got this just to organize my refrigerator. It's just a, um, I'm gonna put all of the dairy products like cheeses and like the feta, the sliced cheese, Toby's um, American slices. But I thought that would help me organize my refrigerator. But that's our Sam's haul and our Walmart haul. Now I'm gonna get started with the day. berries are rinsed and ready to go in the refrigerator. I mentioned this before that I bought this at TJ Maxx Home Goods, and it's 
uh, got the vent and fruit like it when you vent it and it will keep. We had these for seven days last week and it stayed fresh till we were through with all of our berries. So I highly recommend this. And then um, I just wanted to show you what else I bought. I've got, I'm trying to organize my refrigerator. I got an organizer for the eggs. I got the new one for the cheeses. We've got the string cheese, the lapping cow. We've got just some shredded cheddar. This is Toby's cheese. He gets one every day. So that's all in there nice and neat. And then I have one for the yogurts and the Lunchables. So it just makes it a lot neater. I'll probably get another one for here, but usually I just put leftovers here or if I'm setting something out to be thawed. That's why that space is empty, but it makes it look a lot nicer. I thought I'd sit down so you can see me and the food all in one camera angle. But this is actually the next day. Yesterday I went to Sam's, got all the groceries, and then my husband called and said it was gonna be raining the rest of the week that we needed to mow the lawn. So when he gets home from work, uh, we're gonna go out there and do yard work. So I'm glad we did that because today it is gloomy and rainy all day. So um, I'm gonna, it's lunchtime. I'm gonna, I'm excited about this lunch. I'm actually gonna make a Greek salad. And I'm just going to use baby spinach and baby kale. I'm going to use some cherry tomatoes, feta cheese, cucumber, artichoke hearts, some Greek olives, red onion, and garbanzo beans is going to be our, instead of a meat, chicken, or whatever, I'm going to use garbanzo beans. And then I just... I could make my own dressing. There were a lot of Greek dressings out there with an olive oil base, but I have this in the refrigerator and it's just gonna make it easier on me for lunch. It's just a sweet vinaigrette, zero calories. But let me get this all chopped up and I'll show you my salad. I'm really excited about it. The salad looks so yummy, so delicious. A Greek salad with artichoke hearts, tomatoes, cucumber, Greek olives. These are, they have pits in them, so I'm gonna have to take those out, but garbanzo beans, red onion, feta cheese. I just measured it all out, and it comes to 257 calories. So, you know, if you want more of one item or the other, you just, you know, check your calories, and I just, I check the can or I scan it in my uh, carb manager app. But, and I'm just gonna use this zero calorie. It's like a sweet vinaigrette. Actually, it has three calories, sorry. Three calories for two tablespoons. And it's sugar-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, no sugars, no carbs, no uh, three calories, zero fat. It's got apple cider vinegar, water, stevia extract, monk fruit extract, sea salt, garlic, onion powder, spices. So it'll be good, but I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch and calm Toby down. He does not like this weather. I'll see you in a bit. You guys, I'm demolishing this salad. It's so good. Mm. I'm definitely gonna make it again. I think my husband would love it. 
So maybe next week I'll make it for him. Give it a try. All right, it's time to start dinner. Tonight we're gonna have a white fish with a dill cream sauce. I got this from the Magnolia Network. I don't know if you've seen Ranch to Table. Her name is Elizabeth Poet and she lives in California on a ranch. She's lived there her whole life. She came up with this recipe because her husband goes fishing all the time and she wanted a new recipe for fish. So I'm gonna use cod that I got from Sam's. I've got four thawing out. She used a different white fish. I forgot which one she had. But some of the ingredients I changed, like she used leeks and I'm gonna use shallots. She used heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna use light coconut milk. She used white wine. I'm gonna use chicken broth. Her recipe, I'm sure, was amazing. I'm just trying to lighten up the ingredients a little bit to make the calories, um, you know, less. Um, of course, there's lemon, there's butter, there's garlic. She used fresh dill. I don't have that today, but I'm just gonna use the dried dill and I'm sure it'll be just fine. And then she put her creamy white fish over saffron rice. I'm gonna use this palmini, which is hearts of palm, and it's a rice, and it's 20 calories per serving, and there's three servings per container. So it's, you know, gonna be a lot less calories than regular rice. So, and I'll have to let you know because I have never tried it before, so we'll just have to see. If you guys have tried it, let me know. I tried for the first time the Hearts of Palm noodles the other day, and I loved them, so I think these are gonna be just great. But if you can use whatever rice. You can use basmati rice. You can use jasmine rice. You can use um, cauliflower rice. So whatever, um, if you're trying to be in a calorie deficit, or if you don't have to watch your calories right now, use the saffron rice like she did. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing but I'm gonna get this all prepped and um, I'll show you as we're going along. All right, I've got the butter in the pan. We're gonna melt the butter and we're gonna add the shallots and the garlic. It is two teaspoons of garlic. Get in there with my fingers. <laughs> and we're just gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, this is looking really good. Now we're gonna add the chicken broth. We're gonna add one fourth cup. and we're gonna just cook it for about three minutes and let it reduce. It's starting to smell really good. Of course, in her recipe, she used wine, and so you would do the same thing, let it reduce. Okay, this is looking really good. Now we're gonna add our coconut milk. In her case, she used cream. And we're gonna add one and a half cups. And it says to let that cook for about five minutes until the cream gets warm. You can tell this is gonna be really creamy sauce and the coconut milk just has a lot fewer calories I'm looking at the can here and it's 50 calories for a third of a cup so you can tell that 
it'll be a lot less calories than if you were using heavy whipping cream. But we'll just let that warm up for three to five minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add the dill and the salt. She said about one teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna eyeball the dill because she used one cup of fresh, and of course you're not gonna need that much. Let's see what that looks like. My oven is preheated to 350. Once we get this sauce ready, we're going to put the cod in the pan and we're going to finish it off in the oven. I think that's enough dill. Maybe a tiny bit more. Okay, we're just going to let this cook for a little bit and then we will add the fish. Okay, now it's time to add the fish. want to get it totally coated. So you want to like flip it around a couple of times. I've got four fillets. In her recipe she had six fillets. One more. Then we've got lemon juice. This is a big lemon. I know that uh, I should put it in the other way, but it's giving off a lot of juice. I'm gonna do the whole lemon. Just move those around a little bit. Then I sliced the lemon also. We're going to put on top of each filet. And then we're going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes and then uh, we're going to get started on the rice and this will be 350 degrees for 30 minutes we'll be right back okay i just poured the palmini rice and we're going to rinse it with water probably rinse it a couple of times it says to um you know you really want to have it rinsed good and then it says in a pan, cook rice over medium heat. I'll probably add like garlic powder and onion powder, and I'm gonna use the uh, olive oil spray. So I'll show you how we do that. Okay, now we're gonna cook the rice and I'm gonna use the olive oil spray. And we're gonna add the palmini rice. Then we're gonna add salt and pepper. It just says, you know, season it to however you desire it. So this is always my go-to, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And then just keep stirring that 
it's you're basically just heating it up because it's just hearts of palm so you're just warming it up you can try to get it brown i'm not really sure if it gets brown we'll see so i'll cook this for five to ten minutes and then uh we're still waiting on the fish it still has a few minutes to go and we'll show you our plate this looks so good halfway through i did baste it with the cream and uh, i think that helps when you do that so it's not dry and then Here's the palmini rice, looks really good. So I'm just gonna serve up my plate. I've got the rice in the bowl. I'm just gonna, let me get a little bit of extra sauce. Pour over the rice and the, uh, some of these shallots too. This looks so good, you guys. And uh, I'll give you the calories. This looks so good. The calories are for the rice and the fish, 286 calories. And if you wanted to have two fillets, it would only be 366 calories because each filet is 80 calories. But with the cream sauce, let's try it. Let me try it with the palmini rice. Mm. Fish is cooked perfectly and you can taste the dill because I was scared that she had fresh and I had dried. I wasn't really sure how much to add. The lemons coming through, the lemon juice we added. That palmina rice is so good. I think I like it better than the cauliflower rice. There's some cauliflower rices that I like better than others. But this one's really good. I'll be buying that again. Mm. Just had a shallot. I don't buy shallots a lot. I usually buy yellow onions, but that was really good. And the only reason I bought them is because she used leeks. And I thought, well, let me try a shallot. One of these days I'll try a leek too. Mm. Give this recipe a try guys. That was so easy. Just cook it up in the pan and then finish it in the oven. And if you don't like fish, try this recipe with chicken. I'm sure it'd be just as tasty. I might even try that with chicken next time. But um, we're gonna go sit down and eat, okay? Hi, I forgot to do my outro yesterday. So this is the next day. I just wanna let you know I'm still drinking my electrolytes. Sometimes I drink it before my workout, sometimes after my workout. So that's been going great. And I still do my 30 minutes of elliptical every day. And then every other day I've been doing the strength training. So that's going great. I do my 10,000 steps a day. I have not missed that for two weeks straight. So I'm doing good there. And I just wanted to give you, I, um, another person that I follow suggested, you know, if you're getting bored with your foods or your meals, you know, try to shop at a variety of stores. I've been doing that. And actually next week I'm gonna to go to Trader Joe's again. So there's always different products at different stores. So if you go to Sam's, Walmart, every single week, try to go to other stores like Aldi and Sprouts, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, you know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. We also have a Reese's grocery store in our hometown. So I don't know if you have that where you live, but you know, you'll find different sales too at different stores. I know you might not be able to go to every store every week because, you know, that's more gas money, but it does give you a variety of foods to um, mix up your meals and gives you other ideas too. Another suggestion someone gave me, you know, it's almost pool season and you can go to TJ Maxx Home Goods and get the Jordan Skinny Syrup in fruity flavors. You might be able to get it on Amazon too, but she said make snow cones. 
with, they have, come in like cherry, strawberry, lime, orange. So I'm gonna give that a try. And uh, you could also just pour it in ice water or maybe those carbonated waters like LaCroix. So that's something I thought I would pass along because I'm definitely gonna try that. But if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to join our YouTube family and subscribe. I hope you have a blessed day and love you to the beach and back.